Hey everyone, so recently I used this Lamborghini wheel I got from Ed Bullion to make a ring. I used this section of the spoke to do that. But the ring itself we have for sale and we can only make very few of them. And because of the ridiculous amount of labor and time that goes into them, they're really expensive to produce. So why not use the barrel of the Lamborghini wheel to make some keychain or just pendant type pieces. So that's what we're going to do today. They're gonna to be a lot more affordable. I'm going to cut this into a piece here. We're gonna get a nice kind of shape and design going to it. We'll see how it turns out. Let's go ahead and get right into it. All right, as you guys probably noticed in the intro, the center hub of the wheel is completely detached from the barrel. And the reason I did that was to make these a lot easier to work with. So the rings will be easier because I've got the center hub removed and then the pendants will also be easier because I don't have to worry about that hub getting in the way. So that's why we're cutting it here. If you wanna see more of this footage, the Waterjet channel actually made this into an entire video. It's pretty interesting. You can give that a watch if you'd like, link in the description. All right, I've got the barrel ready to go. I'm just going to use my Sharpie here and draw out a rectangle. This will give me a rough guide on where to cut. That way I can get a piece big enough for more than just one pendant. Now I'll go ahead and use an angle grinder and cut that piece out. All right, so far so good. I'm gonna use my Sharpie again to draw some lines on here. I'll measure them out precisely how I want them. That'll be a guide for me to cut out each individual pendant. And then I'll use my metal bandsaw to do the cutting. Now the saw leaves a really rough finish, so I'm gonna quickly take it over to my belt sander and just clean it up a little bit. All right, now onto the next step, which is going to be removing the powder coating. I was kind of tempted to leave it on there, but I did notice that it would chip really easily. So I just wanted to completely get rid of it. That way these pendants would be a lot more durable. So powder coating is actually quite difficult to remove. So I put it in this pretty strong uh, paint and epoxy remover and I left it overnight. And even that wasn't completely enough to remove all of the powder coating. So to get rid of the rest, I'm using a Scotch-Brite attachment on my Dremel, and that will completely remove the rest of this. And check this out, that line pattern you see, that is natural, that is left there from the lathe that was used to cut and machine this wheel. So I just thought that was a really cool touch that that raw exposed edge of the wheel is going to be shown on every single one of these pendants. So it's just kind of a really cool indicator that this is an authentic piece of a Lamborghini wheel. Now I'll go ahead and use all the various grits of sandpaper to polish these edges up, get them looking a lot nicer. All right, this is really coming together. I'm gonna to go ahead and use a carbide center drill and we're gonna cut out the hole. That way we can actually turn it into a pendant or a keychain. Now it's time to move on to the finishing steps for this. 
So I want to give it a really nice, even consistent finish, but it's really challenging to do that without removing the texture that was left on there from the lathe. So my best option is to use a rock tumbler. So first I'm going to be using a really rough coarse grit of aluminum oxide. I'll leave that in there for about 24 hours. That'll really even out the surface, give us a nice smooth texture everywhere. You can see just how nice that turned out. And then to get a finer finish, I'm moving on to the next step, which is walnut pieces that have been impregnated with a polishing agent, which will really help bring out that final shine. All right, now here we are a day later and you can see just how smooth and consistent that finish looks. It looks amazing. All right, as a final touch, let's go ahead and laser engrave it. So I'm going to put the model of the car, the precise VIN that it has. And this is cool because you can use Ed's VinWiki app to track this car so you can see whatever's going on. Anytime someone takes a picture of it and tags it on his app, you can see the history of the car that you have a pendant of. So I just thought that was really cool. And then we also labeled it one of 250. And here it is finished. This thing is beautiful. I love the way it turned out. We're going to have this available on the website. It's going to be $64 for each one. And each one will come with this nice stainless steel cable keychain adapter. Also, you can even have the option of adding a sterling silver necklace with it to turn this into a pendant. I just thought that was kind of cool too. Anyways, guys, that's going to be it for this video. I want to thank you so much for watching. Anything I referenced, remember there should be links to all of that down in the description. I know there's going to be like 20 for this video. So if you have any questions, look in the description first because I'm sure we've got something for you there. Anyways, thank you so much for watching and I'll catch you in the next one.